Oh, hey, it's Rob. And this place might look familiar. Uh, I am back up in Bemidji this week. Or realistically, by the time you see this, I will have been in Bemidji for the week. Uh, came up here with the intent of trying to take a week to relax, you know, kind of be with the family and um, try and take care of some things up here that, you know, I've kind of not been, you know, because I haven't been here, I haven't been able to do. Uh, one of them was to uh, take Sissy in to the vet. Um, she has arthritis. Um, she's, an, she's an older dog. And it's been getting pretty bad now. So um, I tried to get on a, uh, tried a new medication uh, that will help to try and alleviate some of the pain. It's a, I'll tell you about it some other time, but we're going to hope that that is going to give her a little bit more mobility and, and some less pain. So um, also got her some chondroitin for dogs. So we're going to try some of that and hopefully that'll help a little bit too. Um, I just took the, uh, a lot of the recycling. I've been kind of storing up recycling for a while. So I took a load of that down to the transfer station. Uh, I'm also chasing down some of the last bits of probate, trying to get all of those things done while I'm here. And, uh, and generally trying to not work. Um, I'm on day two of no caffeine intake and I can tell. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what else there is. Oh, I've been cooking. Um, I've been doing, I'm on a, on a seafood and fish kick right now. Um, I think my body is, is, uh, able to digest uh, fish and seafood more readily than um, red meat. Um, although I still, you know, I really dig a burger now and then or a steak, but um, I just can't eat as much. You know, I'm getting older too, and there's there's some other things. But right now, uh, that's well, it's you know, I mean, I've only been here a couple of days so far, so it's been a lot of adjusting and. I mean, Sunday was pretty much just a day of trying to get my brain wrapped around being here, you know, waking up in a different bed and sleeping in a different bed and um, all the things with the dogs, taking the dogs out playing and all those fun things. So I'm going to try and continue that this week. I'm hoping to maybe get a little time to do some exploration and I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it's... Today was actually okay. The weather was pretty good, but I'm on, of the impression that it is going to uh, hit another cold blast coming up. So I think my gallivanting may be curtailed. But we, get, we did go for a nice little walk tonight. Uh, not very far because, of course, Sissy's you know, having some pain issues. But we did get to walk a little bit, and Sissy got to run around and chase sticks and things. So... She's still very, very happy, playful. Um, it's just that it's getting harder for her to move. So, um, well, probably pick up with some more stuff. <laughs> uh, I am going to try some cooking because, you know, haven't done that for a hot minute. Uh, I've got here a couple of cold water lobster tails. These are on sale and I decided that I haven't had lobster in a very long time. So, I am going to try and prepare these. Which is, you know, not... There's a lot of ways to do this, but the one that I like the most is the... Uh, cut through the back and then pull it out through the top and broil it. So that's what I'm going to try. Um, I did find a couple of other different ones where you boil them, and I just, I can see that, but I kind of want to try this first. So, the idea is, the very first thing you do is you take a, you know, some kitchen shears, which, hard to find kitchen shears. Uh, at least some good ones. i got these little plastic ones that I'm not overly enthused about. These seem to work okay. There. 
dig in there. And then this is the part that's a little more difficult. You want to separate the meat from the uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's, this is not going to be restaurant quality, <laughs> but let's try it. Ideally, what you want is you want to separate it at the shell. There's an outer layer here. This is not easy. At the store they had uh, these cold water lobsters, which are pretty much big, <laughs> big shrimp. Uh, and then they had warm water lobsters, which were huge. Warm water lobster lobsters were $60 a pound. These were not. <laughs> so, um, got a couple of these. Figured if I screwed one up, maybe I'd have better luck with the other one. But, all right, we got that. And we also want to uh, gently cut here so that we can get out the vein. Generally, the poop shoot of a lobster. And then separate from the bottom, pull it up, and then close these. And there we go. We have a reasonable facsimile of a, uh, of a restaurant lobster. <laughs> um, like I said, I'm not a I'm not a chef. I'm not a seafood chef. I'm just a curious amateur. Uh, it's kind of weird finding lobster in Bemidji. I wasn't really kind of expecting it, but they had it at the at the local deli. So I figure, why not? It's been years. Ten years or more, probably. I'm sure that the warm water lobster is probably, you know, the higher quality, the one that is, you know, the oh so good savory kind. And that's that's probably the kind you get in a really nice seafood restaurant. But yeah, for me not not going to happen on my budget or lack thereof I've been on a seafood kick lately seafood and fish um, so far it's been all this week Okay, got separation there. Let's wash out the salient bits. Again, pull that up and over the top. And there we go. We have these two lovely lobster thingies. So I'm going to make a little basting, uh, basting butter for the, uh, the lobster tails. First of all, I'm going to turn this on the broil. 
and do a preheat. That way we are cooking in the broiler. Uh, these are, I think, four ounces each. Let me, let me see if I can get that. Yeah, four ounces. So, um, once I get this concoction up, I will go into the cooking time a little bit more. But, here we go. This is a couple of tablespoons of melted butter. I actually used some of the nice Irish butter. This is some roasted garlic puree. Go in there like that. Now I would normally add some smoked paprika. I don't have any smoked paprika. Where? Where did it go? Ah, there it is. What I do have is some uh, sriracha seasoning, because you know you also might want to put a little cayenne in here too. So we're going to go ahead with that. Let's give it a little color and a little kick. Stir that on here, and then I don't have a basting brush. For some reason, my basting brush went away. But we'll spoon this on. Kind of let it go everywhere. I saw a really nice um, way of doing these sous vide. Um, the internal temperature you want for it is 140 degrees Fahrenheit, <laughs> not centigrade. Um, but these are um, with a broil time, broil of 500 degrees, uh, the time is about one minute per ounce. So these are going to go about eight minutes. Might go a little bit short of that, but I'm not. You know, we'll I guess we'll kind of go with eight as the starting off point and put them on this lovely official serving platter because, you know, that's absolutely not a lid. You know, I would never try to fool you like that. Okay, we're going to let those sit for the time being while I do some other preparation. Got to wait for the oven to heat up and I'll start preparing the different course or the other part of the meal. I almost forgot to uh, drop a little bit of lemon in here. Uh, it kind of adds to the flavor. I'm going to let that soak in a little bit. It may not do very well. I probably should have mixed it in first. Uh, tip with the lemon. If you're going to be cooking, you know, like I did baked fish the other day, I took a lemon, cut it in half, and baked it along with the fish. reason for that is because baked lemon has a slightly different flavor. It's not as sour. It's a little sweeter. It's a little more savory. Uh, it's an interesting change, and it's one that I considerably like. For the next course, um, I had I made gnocchi last night, or I cooked it anyway, and then I drained it completely, let it dry a little bit until it was that really sticky, uh, and then I put it in this bag along with some oil. So now these are each sort of individually, they're not sticking together and they're ready to cook. So these are going to get um, fried and then I'm going, well there's a couple of parts to this, the, the gnocchi. I've got some mushrooms, a nice variety here that I'm going to chop up and uh, cook as well. Do those separately from the gnocchi. Okay. 
And yes, this is a lot of mushrooms. <laughs> but I like mushrooms. This is mainly a mushroom dish. Uh, which is, I think, part of why I like it. I actually had something... I'm trying to recreate a recipe from memory, or, you know, from a dish that I had at a at a restaurant down in the Twin Cities. Uh, ended up being really, really good. I liked it. Uh, so I'm going to try and recreate it and probably screw it up. But I should come up with something that's at least tasty. So I'll scoop those into a slightly different bowl. I had to turn on the fan because uh, 500 degrees is causing a lot of smoke so I will probably set off the cooking alarm. And we'll set a timer. For eight minutes. <laughs> Do, do, do. So, keep going with that. So I've got my nicely chopped mushrooms, my gnocchi, and some herbs. Uh, the herbs in general, I'm not entirely sure. They used some more exotic ones that I had never heard of. And my fresh herb range was kind of limited it's not they're not really in season and you know it's generally I guess there's not a lot of call for you know dill and marjoram and some other things like that but I'm gonna try and keep these somewhat consistent um, this is pretty much poultry seasoning, if you look at it. You know, it's like rosemary, thyme, basil, or sage, I think. Yeah, that's sage. And you need to add parsley to make it a uh, Simon and Garfunkel song. You're thinking of it right now, aren't you? Huh? I like removing the, uh, the stems, at least the larger ones. The smaller ones get okay when they cook, but... a bit more time than I had expected. Yeah, it always seems like I never have enough time, so it's kind of a bonus. Nope, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Boop. I don't know, maybe you have a better way of doing this. I like using fresh herbs when I can. Um, doesn't always make sense. Like seasoning meat, dried dried herbs are just perfectly fine. But if you're cooking something fresh, it's kind of nice to have fresh herbs. Okay, we got that. Let's pull some leaves here. 
Yeah, I don't think we need the stems. Oh, they do have a lot of taste, don't they? I just don't really want that much chewy. I'll we'll just give it a little old chop here. And there we have a nice little pile of herbs. Heating up a pan, I'm going to add a little bit of some uh, oil. Well, it's more than a little, I guess. And some butter. Again, going with some nice Irish, Irish cream butter. Butter flavor. Found this. It's a silicone uh, thing. Fifty cents. Seems worth it. And it seems time to check the lobster. <clears throat> uh, yes, I do believe those are done. I probably should have saved those for last. They went so quick. All right. Now this is mostly melted. Let's toss in the uh, herbs. Let those get some uh, good stuff. Oh yeah, definitely the aromatics. Oh yeah, nice. Does a couple minutes and a little more of the garlic paste. This is actually roasted garlic paste. <laughs> this smells pretty good. And let's toss in the mushrooms. The mushrooms will take a while to cook. Uh, they always take a while, so I'm gonna put a lid on this and let it sit. All right, so I took those out of the pan. They're ready to go. I'm gonna do the same thing. Uh, and now I've already got the, I already got oil on those, so I don't really need a lot more. I am going to add a little bit more of the butter because butter makes everything better. Mm. 
mostly this keeps the butter from burning while you're, or at least mostly burning while you're uh, cooking. And we will add in the gnocchi. Add some seasoning. This is a salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder mixture. It's kind of a real basic standby for me. Some coarse ground black pepper. You can see they're starting to pick up that nice golden uh, Maillard reaction. All right now I'm going to turn this down to a low. These are just about done. Now, I don't have any actual cream, so I'm going to use sour cream. And yes, it's a lot of sour cream.
right, I'm going to let this simmer for a while and I'm going to pop the lobster back into the oven to heat up a little bit. And one more thing, I'm going to make a lemon butter sauce for the lobster. Sort of a dipping dipping sauce for the lobster. I tend to go fairly heavy on the lemon for this because I like the flavor better. But it's a pretty good combination all around. Yeah, it'd be nice if I had a lemon squeezer, wouldn't it? One of the things I don't have here. I have a potato ricer. I wonder if that'd work. I guess to a degree. Again, we'll add some of the sriracha. You can pretty much add whatever you want at this point. I just like to go with uh, about half a stick of butter and half a lemon. So kind of go one, one to one with the butter and lemon. You know, it's going to depend on the size and all that. And then I have some uh, fake cheese. Add that in. You could use real cheese if you wanted, but the fake cheese has this nice, uh, nice small texture, and it retains some of its crunchy bits. Mm, give me a taste. Add a little pinch of salt. Oh yeah. That's the stuff. I probably should have saved some of the herbs for you know, a nice garnish to put on there. But uh, and if I had to do it again, I think I would probably do the herbs toward the end. I kind of wanted to get them in there for some aromatics, but at the same point, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll see. All right, gonna try the lobster first because I haven't had lobster in a long time. Not bad, but it doesn't have as much lobster flavor. I suppose that's probably because these are the little cold water lobsters. All right, let's try the uh, nookie. Oh. Yeah. Would have been better with cream. I want a little bit more gravy. But, mmm. 
Definitely. Mm. Try some of the sauce on these. Mm. Also good. All right, that's gonna do it for tonight. Um, kind of happy with how this turned out. It was a lot more work than I usually put in, but kind of a special occasion. And uh, I guess let me know if you like this stuff. I mean, I like cooking and just don't get to do it very often. Um, anyway, we'll see you guys. <laughs>